Good day everyone, I ordered this Inkbird Smart Wireless Barbecue Thermometer, so you know, you can use it in the oven. Use it in the barbecue, good uh, meat thermometer, or whatever, whatever you're going to test for temperature. I have some really good information coming up here, and you need, you know, need to pay attention here. But let's just get into the basic stuff here. So I picked this up, I replaced my old one with this uh, one that has an app that you can get, and uh, you know, you can monitor your your product. Now this one is the IBT 2X. The 2X just stands for the number of uh, probes that it comes with. Now these are the ends that plug into the unit. So this one comes with two and they just plug in here. They have a one and a two marked. So the probe plugs in there. I guess what's kinda nice about this one once I get it out here just to start off with um, it's kinda convenient you can wrap the cable of the probe around here for storage I just have the one plugged in right now and then it it will snap in like this so you know it kinda keeps things together it does not come with batteries it requires uh, two triple A's, so those are in there. Again, more inf information coming up about this interesting thing here. But anyways, to turn it on, you press and hold the button for about three seconds. Turns on, and right down, right now I don't have the other probe uh, in there. But if the other one's in, what happens is it uh, goes back between the two. Uh, the, you can't probably see that there's a little one there and then it will show the temperature of two so it switches back and forth um, yeah anyway now if you know the temperatures that you need for your whatever you're cooking you can use this without the app there's just a uh, it's pretty limited functionality though you need the app if you want to do certain things uh, you know for specific meats and temperatures and stuff the app I haven't even downloaded yet but we'll get into that but I mean it can be used without the app but hey we're gonna try it with the app so what you need to do I mean if you're on iOS it also uh, supports uh, Android probably a little bit different process I don't have an Android to show you but with iOS basically I went to the App Store and I'm gonna put in a search and it says to search for BBQ Go so let's go BBQ go alright we'll search and I'm just looking at the picture sort of verify that's what the icon looks like and we have it here so let's just go see uh, there it is let's get it alright so it's uh, it's gonna load here probably take a minute Well, that was fast. Let's open that up. Alright, so it wants to use Bluetooth. Okay. Hopefully I have the Bluetooth on. Okay, we'll allow notifications. Probably it needs that because, you know, uh, it has a temperature sensor, so if it reaches a certain temperature, it will notify you. So let's start this. Short press the button on your device. All right. Okay, yeah, I can see it's actually uh, has a little Bluetooth symbol there. It started flashing. So, and actually it says it's, it's hooked up. So, okay. So here's the app. Again, I don't know too much about the app at this point, but let's just try and find out something here triggered alarms okay so yeah it looks like you can set up some stuff I'll do some testing and get back to you on that um, thermometer okay you can change the temperatures uh, right now it's showing in Fahrenheit let's see what happens here went to Celsius okay switched over to Celsius alright um, 
Let's get into some details of uh, before you decide to purchase this. There's very important stuff you need to know. So let me uh, go to my PC. I'll bring it up on screen and we'll go through this. So I just wanted to let you know something to be cautious about. Uh, the Amazon site, the descriptions are pretty good. I was actually, now I can't find it now, but I was on the actual Inkbird site here uh, for this wireless thermometer and they had the IBT2X sort of lumped in with the IBT4X. So these two I can talk about a little bit and the descriptions get overlapped and it misleads you, so be careful. This is sort of like their, I guess their lowest price model and I'm not going to say it's it's not it's just as functional functional as the other ones it's just the lowest lowest price one so they all have the apps and stuff works really good but one thing you have to keep in mind what I found out is that this one they said it had a magnetic back and it doesn't have a magnetic back and they also suggested that it had a lithium ion battery which was rechargeable using a USB it does not it takes two triple A's and whereas this one it has all those other features so not really a big deal to me um, I mean I'm happy putting the little batteries in they last for a really long time so uh, my other one I had a different model it I mean it lasts for a couple years the battery so not a big deal just be conscientious of uh, what you're looking at and so they have all different kinds of models I haven't really looked at all these other ones but some of them are waterproof apparently and all kinds of things so you know check it out see what works for you but you know as you go up to the fancier ones you're gonna start paying a lot of money so I went for this guy and uh, basically on here this is probably in US price I'm guessing uh, $30 so there you go there's a start and uh, let me show you how this thing works okay and so before we get uh, before I get right into stuff uh, this is the only other thing. Uh, it does come with one clip for this probe. And this is so you can hook it onto some grills. You know, you can uh, squeeze this together. Should fit in between. Don't ever have this thing exposed to direct flame. That's probably not a good idea. I don't care what it's made out of. Not going to work out well. So, but anyways, that's what that's for. And the app again, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I went to home on it. And... So now you can do stuff like you can just. Uh, I only have the one probe in, so uh, only one's showing up. But let's see if we can. Let's hook in the next one here. Let's see if we get a temperature reading now. Look at that. Worked fine. So that pairing was super easy, hey? But, anyways, so you can set a timer on here. Um, you could set it for like a minute or. Let's just try, let's see what happens when this goes. Seven seconds. All right. So this is just strictly timer. Hopefully it started. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'll have to check. I don't know why there's no sound, but anyways. Then the other one, which is probably really what you're going to be using, is the uh, temperature. So you can set it for, you know, all these different items here. It looks like you can add custom ones, but say we're doing beef, and you can select the temperature. Rare it says, depending if you're using Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Right now it says 49. I'm going to assume that would definitely be Celsius. Um, medium rare, 54. So yeah, I don't know. You can go through all these different settings. And let's just see how you activate this. So let's say rare, and then set it, I guess. Okay, so it's set at 20, currently 27 degrees, and then up to 49. So when it hits that temperature, it should, uh, should do an alarm. We can check that out. Uh, remember, that's the beef rare setting. My water's still not hot enough. I don't have hot water. Wow, I can't get it up there. Oh, that didn't sound good.
Okay, so there's the alarm. It went off. I used my lighter, by the way. Probably not good for it, but hey, we're in a bind. So, that worked out really good. I'm still wondering why the timer did not have an alarm on it. I'll have to investigate that. I probably have the sound off for notifications or something. That's probably what it is. Okay, so let's move forward.